So we're here, we're here to celebrate San Francisco Pride. It's a huge, huge um, festival and parade for uh, the, the gay, lesbian, bi, trans community. And we want to rep make sure that asexuality is represented there. So a bunch of us are gonna all get together and march in the parade. <laughs> I'm really nervous about being in the parade. I'm, I'm excited. This will be sort of like a big coming out. I think this is totally historic and I think we're gonna be able to, it's gonna be a really powerful outreach opportunity. I am so excited to be able to start telling people about asexuality because I'm sure a lot of people there won't know. One, two, three, and then mostly online we've got a supportive space just for people to go to who are asexual who want to figure themselves out. What is asexuality? Asexual people do not experience sexual attraction otherwise we're like everyone else. We do form romantic relationships, identify as gay, straight, or bi, think sex is great for people who like it. We, it's, we're not like afraid of sex, we don't have a problem with sex. It's just not something yeah, you're interested in. Yeah, just not what we're into. totally cool. Is it that you are not sexually attracted to anybody? Exactly. But you do get horny? Like, do Not you, really. Do you crave an orgasm? No. Okay. So, so like... Is that religious thing? No. Okay. It's like a sexual orientation. So it's not a choice. It's not like a proclivity. It's just that I'm not sexually attracted to people. So you can still have relationships. Yeah, exactly. And you just don't have sex in them. Right. But you do eventually, at some point, right? No. Never ever? No. Because we don't want to. <laughs> 